someone feels as though they're being forced out of their home. What, he's so angry? I've got pain here. It's not just the house. It's the people in the house. I just got an incredible pain again. Why'd stop putting all these conditions on me? I've just seen somebody go in there, Chris. There is somebody that needs help. This week, the rescue mediums travel to the urban core of the city of Toronto, to a house where it seems some souls don't wish to be saved. About six to eight months after we moved in, we began to notice very uneasy feelings in certain parts of the house. I noticed shadows in the front door. We also noticed voices particularly female voices calling from the back stairwell. Also nocturnal tapping and doors slamming with no breeze. I felt like I had a feeling of ghost bumps and I felt like I had a company, like somebody is in there, like, like a shadow. For me, it looks like a male. In Luxury's lap, the rescue mediums are on their way to help. Which house do you think it is? Jackie and Christine are internationally renowned psychics who spend their days and nights showing wayward spirits into the light. In this uh, particular area, not only do I feel negative as if somebody's watching me, I also feel like a, almost like a hand is just touching me just on the shoulder about this, this position. It's a very, very um, uncomfortable feeling. They have no idea they are about to meet a man of the cloth, and they have been given no prior knowledge of their destination. Although days earlier, they had some disturbing premonitions. Someone feels as though they're being forced out of their home. Uh, they feel uncomfortable in their own home, as though a force is pushing like them out. Like spirits making yes. them, trying to make them leave? Yeah, trying to make them to leave, yeah. An old schoolhouse or a place that was a teacher's house or had a connection, you know, with a teacher or a school. Rodents. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know whether this is somebody that keeps them or breeds them. I don't know if it's rats, mice, gerbils or hamsters. We had an infestation, must have been 15, 20, 30 rats. In the backyard, we had about six inside the house. Mysteriously, they all disappeared. The name of Isaiah, and that's a very old-fashioned name, and Joshua. Donald. Um, the name of Daniel. Uh, d did you have Daniel? I think I might have. Yeah, yeah, Daniel. In addition to their premonitions, the rescue mediums have created these psychic drawings of what they expect to encounter during their investigation. Jackie and Christine travel to the troubled residence where the homeowners eagerly await their arrival. I just want them to release these entities, give them peace, and bring peace back to this house because there's a lot of sadness and a lot of conflict. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Jackie and Christine are the rescue mediums, psychics who make house calls. Hi. Hello. Hello. Welcome to the Hermelin Manor. Thank oh, you. Oh, okay. My name is Herminia. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice yeah. to see you. Nice to meet you. I'm Herminia. Nice Herminia. Yes. I'm Jackie. Hi. Nice yes. to meet you. I'm Leonard. It's Hi, Leonard. Pleasure. Come on in, please. Thank you. The rescue mediums sit down with the homeowners to present their premonitions. Oh, what a lovely room. Nice, yeah. It's not nice. It's nice to be sitting. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so what we're going to do now, we're just going to go through these premonitions with you. Rodents like mice, oh, rats. Oh, definitely. Oh, my God. <laughs> really? <laughs> Very much so. A fish tank or a pond? We have. Yes, three. Daniel. Yes. Yeah, we know Daniel. Yes. Would you understand seeing a face at a window? 
and the face just looking, just being very still looking from the inside outwards. Yes. Okay. One level of a house that's haunted. One whole level that's haunted. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. A feeling of being forced out of your own home. Being forced as though somebody, somebody in the spirit world wants to get you out of definitely. the house. Definitely. Most definitely. Okay. Yes. It's not very pleasant, that. No, no, no. no. It's not. What keeps these spirits fixed to this house? And what would make these otherworldly forces so eager to evict the current homeowners? There's somebody else with us, Chris. The rescue mediums are investigating this residence on a peaceful side street in downtown Toronto. A feeling of being forced out of your own home? Most definitely. A place where unwanted entities seem bent on forcing the current owners out of their home. Do I try the front then first? Yeah, I'd look yeah. out there. The front grounds are extensive. Jackie and Christine begin their investigation at the furthest edge of the property. Lots of steps everywhere. I oh, know. A different feel. What do you think? Yeah. Dramatic. I'm feeling something just standing here staring at the outside of the, the house itself. Yeah, as if somebody would stand watching. Inside looking out. Yeah, but also this I felt like a when you we come to this bit there was like a, a bit of a a dread. Coming, a dread coming. You know, a dread feeling, sort of like a down feeling. Continuing their search, the rescue medium circumnavigate the home. Mm. Has ever been used as a school or something? I just got an image of children here, but yeah. children that didn't belong to the house, they'd yeah. been they were being taught here. Having defined the perimeter, Jackie and Christine now work their investigation towards the center. Once inside, oh. they are immediately pulled to the labyrinth-like basement. A big place, isn't it? Yeah. Jackie senses a presence. Somebody's just touched my arm. Twice. Okay. That. I'm a face now. <laughs> The spirit departs. Jackie and Christine follow, drawn to a first floor apartment rented out by the homeowners. Ooh. Oh, yes. Atmosphere change. Yeah, total change. Jackie and Christine are drawn to an office at the back of the suite. Jackie. What? What? This antique typewriter seems still in use. Daniel. Mm, that name's been given, hasn't it? It has. Twice. You've got it. I've got yeah. Daniel. I wonder if we'll see it again, then. I've just seen somebody go in there, Chris. A female spirit rushes past. Is this the presence from the basement? They attempt to make contact. A presence comes forward. But it is a spirit unexpected. Yes, I can feel that as well. It's this is a man now. It is a man. Oh, God. I feel like I've got pain here. He's had some kind of illness. And there's a... There's a, a, a breathing problem with him. Does he belong to the house? Yes. Does he belong with this lady? No. 
separate. I think he's separate. The psychic energy in this part of the house is strong. They continue their investigation in a second apartment, currently disused. Bright, isn't it? Yeah. There's your sunglasses on in here. Uh -huh. Whoa. <sighs> I just got an incredible pain again. Why stop putting all these conditions on me? Uh oh, I've got the same guy. No, no. This is a woman now. Oh, so we've got the lady back. Yeah. I don't know. The female spirit whom they originally met in the basement has returned. Does she need help? Let's ask her. If you need help, my friend, you can come forward. No, there's somebody that needs... Right. There, there is somebody that needs help. She's helping. She's, She's showing us the way. Video. What is it that the female spirit seems so desperate to show the rescue medium? I can see that man. Will Jackie and Christine be prepared for what they will find? Oh, no, he's not happy with that at all. Inside this home, the rescue mediums have made contact with two spirits. A male... I think there's somebody else with us, Chris. ...and a female presence who is ushering them towards another psychic clue. She's helping. She's, She's showing us the way. Video. Following the lead of the beckoning spirit, the rescue mediums ascend to the home's second story. For a second time, the name Daniel is presented to the rescue medium. Daniel. What? Daniel. That's the other Daniel we needed. Both give him Daniel. Yeah. And we've just seen Daniel written downstairs. Yeah. And you said, let's see if we get it see again. It again. And it's there. OK. Do you know what? Just, just think about the premonitions. Yeah. Right. Isaiah. Yeah. Joshua. Daniel. The, book of the Old Testament. Books of the Old Testament. The uh, Jewish Book of Law. And it would be the Jewish Book of Law. From these clues, a Bible is procured to help call the religious presence forward. I'm ready with this Bible because there may be a Jewish connection. Jackie and Christine attempt to summon the spirit. We're going to fill this room full of light. If anybody needs our help, you can come forward. I can see that man. OK. Does he need any help? I think he does. Do you know what? He is so angry. What's he angry He's about? just pacing. His hair is like wispy hair. He's got the hat on. <laughs> Tell him to take it off. It's <coughs> awful. This has got something to do with this man. Tell him to take it off. Stand back. We can help you, but you have to stand back. I think he's so passionate. This is what it is. OK, do you want to stay in here, or do you want to...? Do you feel drawn I up think there? I want to go upstairs. I, okay. I want to go upstairs. He's so agitated. I, he's running up in front of us. The male spirit, obviously frustrated, leads the rescue mediums to the uppermost floor of the house. Come here. Come and, come and see. Come and see this. OK. In the attic, they discover a hidden chapel, only partially constructed. Oh, no, he's not happy with that at all. Well, he's got to understand that, you know, it's not, this is not his place anymore. Do you want to see if we can get inside there? Yeah, you can have to climb through Let's see. this here. Oh, yeah. No, it's OK. It's good. Mm -hmm. Could it be this renovation that frustrates the male spirit? Let's ask him to see. Does he want us to help him? She's eating him up. It's not just the house, it's the people in the house, and I'm trying to get them out. I'm you trying can't. to get you rid of them. You have to let go. He's saying it's not right. But he's wrong. 
He is very, wrong. very, very wrong. He lived here. This was his oh, house. Yeah. He lived here, yeah. and this was his house. OK, we're just going to have to fill it full of light and see what happens. See? Well, ask him, does he need an eye? I have the Old Testament here. The rescue mediums attempt to communicate with the spirit. Then... That's what he's saying. Read it. Read it. OK. Christine begins to read from the book of Daniel. He knoweth what is in the darkness, and the light dwelleth with him. I thank thee and praise thee, O thou God of my fathers. Oh, the latest there now. The female spirit has returned to aid in the rescue. The rescue mediums present their findings to the homeowners and compare it to independent research. Amazing. While the exterior of this Toronto home was peaceful, inside it was anything but. Stand back. The rescue complete, Jackie and Christine sit down with the homeowners to present their findings alongside independent research and see what matches up. So this is a bit where we all get to talk now. We get to talk about what we've found and what we've experienced in your home. And sure. We've had a look around the grounds and we were very drawn to one side in particular of the building, the, the very top of the building, the apex that we now know is the chapel area. Mm -hmm. We came across children outside as well. We didn't actually meet the spirit children, but we had the impression that there had been children there and that they were being taught in some way. Do you think this has ever been used as a school or something? Just got an image of children here, but yeah. children that didn't belong to the house, yeah. they'd been, they were being taught here. Yeah. And then we put like an old school or a house where a teacher lived. Well, Mary Catherine McCarroll mm -hmm. taught young men's Bible classes here. Okay. In November of 1949, the Presbyterian record notes that Bible classes were taught on these grounds by a Mrs. Mary Catherine McCarroll. This is her, actually. Mrs. McCarroll. She's the lovely spirit lady who's in your house. That's what she looks like. Mm. Mary Catherine McCarroll lived and taught within the walls of Leonard and Herminia's home for over two decades, until her death in 1949. She said she did not need help herself, but there was somebody in the house that desperately needed help in the spirit world, and she had come forward to help us. She had, bless her. This was the gentleman that would have been right through the house. You know, you had feelings right through the house of, yes, of different uh, changes in atmosphere, different moods, and. This, this would have been why. So he was the one that needed help into the light. He had a problem with the house being changed because as he knows the house, he knows the house separated into apartments, but you're trying to get it back to how it was when mm -hmm. it was very first built. Mm -hmm. That takes it back to the Presbyterian days. Leonard and Herminia had been renovating their home to recreate its original grandeur when owned by Presbyterian pastor Reverend Donald McCarroll from 1910 to 1943. He wasn't very um, accepting of this. The rescue mediums believe the male spirit to be a previous owner confused by the home's religious conversion. He died only recently and his identity must remain protected. So we had to reason with him. And the only way we can reason with him is, was with the Bible, with something he understood. And it was the book of Daniel foreseen by the rescue mediums. The name of Daniel. That helped the spirit cross over. He was able to go through to the spirit world with that. 
Reading those words gave him the comfort that he needed to calm down, realise that this is not his house, mm -hmm. realise that he is not of this earth anymore. Those words gave him enough comfort and courage to go through to the light. Amazing. So do you feel better now? Do you feel more hopeful that things are going to be okay? I feel a lot be better. Okay? I feel a lot better. More comfortable in, the, in your home? Yes, absolutely, absolutely. With the spirit safely crossed over, Jackie and Christine bid farewell to the homeowners. It is. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, lovely. We could get very used to this, you know. I was going to call him Parker. <laughs> Inside the elongated limo, the rescue mediums discuss the case, which really stretched their skills. Well, another interesting one. Yeah, it was. Wasn't it strange, though, it being a, a man of the club? I know. Oh. Bubbly. Wonderful. Cheers. And more tea, Becca. Oh, yes, please. <laughs> Shall we administer some more? <laughs> Only for religious purposes. Oh, well, of course, yes. <laughs>